guys, enjoying my morning frappuccino, low carb frappuccino. I don't feel so well today because I had a surgery. Actually, it was already, it's been already almost a week and it still hurts. And I'm taking antibiotics and the antibiotics are causing me to break out. So I have zits all over my face. Normally, I don't have any problems with my skin. I'm really proud of uh, my skin because I take care of it and um, you know, I'm on low carb diet so um, I don't eat sugar because sugar is really bad for your skin. Uh, anyways, I just eat um, mushy food. This this was a uh, <laughs> there's nothing anymore, but there was a um, apple and carrot just mushed together, and it's really good. I love it, but I'm just kind of getting tired of this this type of meals, just like mushy soft meals. Ugh. And I wanted to do some type of video, some fun video for YouTube this week, some type of fashion haul or something, but I just have no ideas. Or nothing so I asked my dear CJ members if they have any questions for me so let's see that so this is the workout I posted just last night for my dear CJ members stretch and tone workout for muscle recovery because we did we did summer shred workouts Monday and Tuesday hard super hard workouts so now my members have a stretch and tone workout to do today that's their homework um, there's a video and there's comments which I have to go through right now so I've been reading your guys's comments in the Z gym um, and your questions and it's getting a little overwhelming actually I'm glad that you guys gave me all these questions I just don't know where to start now um, okay there's about 30 questions now that I have to answer I'm not gonna fit it into this video alone but that's good because it gives me more um, things to think about and more things to vlog about so that's awesome thank you so it's time for me to put myself together whenever I have a pimple I use a tea tree oil and the tea tree oil is really good because it kind of um, brings out that nastiness and it really helps out gets rid of it I got so much work to do, it's it's crazy. Like so much work um, that is gonna keep me on my butt right in front of the computer. And then I have to shoot workouts for the Z gym and things like that. Today I'm gonna take it easier because of the two still. So I'm gonna do like a light workout or something like that. Um, and then this is, I want to show you uh, the mess in our office. These are all boxes, just all products. This is my fat burner protein supplements. It's gonna be botanical fat burner um, with protein and stuff. This is an empty box actually. This is just the packaging, what it's gonna look like. Um, it's not available yet. Our store is getting ready. There are my hoodies and tank tops and there's my tea and books. Oh my God, look at all this stuff. Look at that, that's my book and my hoodies, things like that. So, uh, we're in the process of organizing everything and putting the store together and stuff like that. So, I'm excited about it because it's gonna be a lot of fun uh, to be selling clothes and making clothes and making more supplements that are good for you. So, I am excited, but it takes a lot, a lot, a lot of work. Jesse just got home. He was at the dentist too, and now he's swollen too. What kind of family are we? They are waiting for Jesse. So besides the products that we're working on, we're also working on creating new programs for the Z gym, and we're almost there. Right now, we have the bunny slope workout for complete beginners, where that anyone can try. It's for free. See, that's the bunny slope workout program that you guys can try, and these are all coming. They're all gonna be available for ZG members. Oh my god, Santino! Santino! <laughs> Why are you howling? Is Jesse outside? Is Jesse there? Yeah! 
<laughs> okay, so I gathered your questions from the website and uh, most of you guys are asking about diet and nutrition and the next biggest thing is motivation. Everyone wants to hear words of motivation and how to stay consistent with training, with fitness and with healthy diet and all I can say to you guys is that for me exercising has become automatic has become a habit and that's exactly how you have to treat it you have to develop a strong habit because motivation kind of comes and goes like just recently I was talking in my youtube video about the shallow motivation like that doesn't last um, just trying to lose weight for the bikini season or trying to fit into your jeans that's the type of motivation that it doesn't have like deep um, meaning you know most of the time uh, so it doesn't last so motivation is a good thing but habit is something that's way more effective and it just has to be created that's all and then one day when you create a habit you realize you're doing this thing automatically it's like a hygiene you know exercising to me it's just like a hygiene I brush my teeth every day no matter what mood I am in you know I may not have mood for and I might have a really bad mood um, but I still gonna brush my teeth I may have had a, a fight with my boyfriend or had a bad day at work or something happened I will still take a shower you know those things are kind of basic for me and exercise is the same thing you know it's better to look at it as a, as something you just it's what you do every day it's kind of like a chore but the good thing about exercise is it's not the type of chore that you would hate while you're doing it so I moved by the pool because I want to demonstrate to you something if you're at home or wherever you are if you can uh, try to do this exercise with me right now okay just go to the ground and do push-ups with me just as a test just try to do that right now if you cannot do regular push-ups you can do ladies push-ups off of your knees and let's do 10 push-ups together right now what's up gypsy <laughs> my gypsy is here <laughs> okay we're gonna do 10 push-ups okay let's do this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten good I hope you did this exercise with me now were you ready to do your exercise right now I bet you most of you were not ready most of you were not even in the mood did you think during the exercise Oh my god, I hate this. I hate doing push-ups. I would rather do something else. One of the beautiful things about exercising is that um, it might be hard to get into it, but once you start, um, your body starts releasing endorphins and it's, it starts to feel good and you become grateful that, that's, that you started exercising. Nobody ever regrets the time they spend exercising because they always feel good after an exercise. So really the most difficult part about staying consistent with your training is to make yourself actually do it. One tip that I can give you that really helps is to um, wear active wear as much as you can. And you may not be able to do that at work if you work at the office or if you work somewhere where you have to wear uniform or certain type of clothes you may not be able to do that at work but as soon as you get home dress into something that allows you for free movement that makes you feel like if you really wanted to do a workout right now or go for a run you can because you are dressed for it that's really important you know because the clothes that you're wearing is also affecting your mood and how you're gonna act how you're gonna react to certain things or how you're gonna feel so try to wear sporty 
uh, active wear as much as you can and when you're at home and you're in comfortable clothes you know you go to the kitchen and you you know make yourself coffee whatever while your co coffee is brewing try to do 10 jump lunges try to be proactive and try to get yourself into the mood of exercising and the only way you get yourself into the mood is by moving a little bit raising up your heart rate you know and I'm telling you it, it works but if you're in tight jeans and in like some shirt that it's not comfortable you don't really want to move I don't ever feel like exercising when I'm in clothes that doesn't allow for free movement you know so but when I'm in active wear and I try to wear active wear at all times because I spent a lot of time in front of the computer uh, so I try to take every opportunity to move when I'm getting off the computer and I go to the bathroom or go to the kitchen I try to do like a handstand or I try to do jump lunges and stuff like that because I'm trying to use those moments when I'm getting off the computer to be a little bit active you know because it's really important and it makes me feel good it makes me feel better so try that active wear try to take every opportunity to move and raise up your heart rate you know and start building this habit start think of yourself as someone who loves fitness who loves exercising try to develop this positive attitude towards it and you'll see it's gonna be a lot easier for you to get into the swing of things and soon enough you're gonna be uh, you know pretty good at that and it's gonna become automatic for you the best thing is to develop a habit that you can't live without you know I feel like when I don't exercise for a few days because of like I just get the tools done it feels weird I feel like I almost feel like I didn't take a shower or something you know that's that and that's exactly that kind of habit that um, keeps you grounded keeps you makes you feel comfortable and uh, becomes total part of you so it's already lunchtime and I have to make myself another liquid meal so I'm mixing banana with orange and some protein vanilla protein powder and don't get me wrong it's really good it's really delicious but if you eat like this for several days trust me it's not gonna be fun anymore look at that can't wait to have regular food seriously well, unfortunately it still hurts and it's still swollen so just to recap don't focus so much on getting yourself motivated focus on developing a habit and start wearing active wear sports clothes as much as you can and uh, try to think fitness try to think positively about fitness and about exercise and try to use every opportunity that you have to move and to raise up your heart rate so that you're proactively getting yourself into mood for exercise so i hope this helps you guys leave me a comment below let me know if you have any questions and if you have any topics on mind that you would like me to talk about and uh soon next week i'm gonna do a giveaway for you um it's gonna be victoria's secret giveaway because i buy um swimsuit from them a lot so i'm gonna do a little fashion haul with my swimsuit and a giveaway for you so check back for that and i'll see you guys soon ciao